I'm Hugh and Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is Fighting Gully Road Sangiovese 2018 from um, the Beechworth region of Victoria. Fighting Gully Road, I think, harks back to the days when Beechworth was a root and shootin', six gun kind of um, gold mining town where Ned Kelly occasionally poked his head in and uh, all sorts of lawlessness was happening there. Um, it's a much more civilised place these days. It's a business that's owned by a viticulturist called Mark Walpole, who um, before, in a previous life he was Brown Brothers Chief Viticulturist and he's worked in the northeast of Victoria all of his life. His family actually have a very long history in the area. They were in the, in the uh, Warali district of the King Valley in the 1880s and they still have a vineyard there which Mark manages in addition to his own duties. But he's established his own vineyard in the Beechworth area and he's taken a lease on the oldest vineyard in Beechworth, which is the Smith family vineyard planted in 1978, which yields fantastic Chardonnay. So you can find some great Chardonnay under the Fighting Gully Road label too. But Mark's great passion is Italian varieties. And so he's got uh, Sangiovese, he's got various other varieties planted. Um, and we're having a Sangiovese today, obviously. In addition to his other business, Mark has re-established a 19th century vineyard which was actually in, almost in the township of Beechworth. Back in the gold mining days, there was a Frenchman there who called Grand Jew, I think his name was, who had a vineyard there and who used to make wine to supply to the miners in those uh, early gold mining days. So how does this wine taste? First thing I notice about it is the colour is quite light. It's almost like a Pinot Noir colour, but it's very, very good hue. It's got purple tinge, it's translucent, it's a good colour, it's just slightly light. So if you're expecting a Cabernet or a Shiraz colour, um, you might have to think again. But with Sangiovese, it doesn't matter so much. It's one of those varieties that can be uh, quite light on in colour. The important thing is to have the bouquet and have the flavour. And I think you'll find that it's pretty, pretty smart wine. The, the other thing about uh, this kind of variety, Sangiovese, is they're not fruity or grapey like a, a young Shiraz or a Cabernet or a Pinot might be. There's much more of the savoury spectrum of aromas there. Dried herbs, sour cherries, a touch of oak spice, but really quite a complex nose. Um, I can sit and sniff that for a while. Lovely. Uh, let's have a taste. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's got lovely flavour. It's again not a big wine, medium bodied wine, but the intensity of flavour is, is, is lovely. And it's really fresh and alive in the mouth that makes me salivate, it makes me hungry, which is what Italian varieties are all about really. They're, they're very much designed to go with food. Um, the length of palate is very good. It has a leanness to it and elegance to it. It's certainly not a heavy wine or a tannic wine, but it does have enough tannin, enough acidity, all of those ingredients to give you the lovely balance of flavours that just roll on and on and on. Excellent. So how do we rate this wine? Uh, we rate it at 95, which is the gold ribbon score. And of course it is a top ranked score. It's number one out of uh, the 2018 Sangiovese is from Victoria, 15 we've tasted and rated, and it's number one out of those. So that's a pretty good performance, um, especially for $30 a bottle. We also said you could drink it up until 2026. I think that's very conservative. I would have no problem in um, suggesting this wine has at least 10 to 12 years in it. So the food match, what would we serve with a wine like this? And we asked Mark Walpole what he would, what he would recommend and he said a wild boar ragu with pappardelle. And 
want some sort of game meat. It doesn't have to be uh, wild boar. If wild boar doesn't, doesn't, isn't quite at hand when you need it, it could be venison, guinea fowl, or something else. It could even be um, buffalo or something really, really outrageous like that. Um, add some polenta and a little bit of grana padano, and there you have it. So, cheers. <laughs>